All right, so I'm gonna do a new, this is like an updated version. Well, I don't know if it's really an updated version. We're just gonna go over uh, some bathroom stuff for men um, that you should definitely have in your bathroom or a bunch of stuff that you can look at. So I'm gonna pop open my cabinets here and we're gonna take a look at some of the stuff that you're gonna wanna check out. Now, all this stuff that I'm showing you right here is all the top high quality things you can get for men this is not stuff you're gonna find at CVS or Walmart or Walgreens or or anything like that this is uh most of this stuff you're gonna find on Amazon or the grooming lounge all right so um, keep that in mind this, this stuff some of this stuff can be a little bit pricey but a little goes a long way with all this stuff so keep that in mind all right so up top for shaving I always use uh, Dollar Shave Club razors um, I, I'll either use Harry's. I got a couple of samples here. This is from Anthony. I like this one a lot. Probably gonna buy it. Um, the the URSA Major Shave Cream I, I like as well. Um, so I might. I don't know. I'll probably buy them both. Who knows? But um, yeah. So and then there's a Dollar Shave Club razor up there, which is uh, really good. I like them razors. And then I got a bunch of boxes of. You know, they send me these things every month. More. It's five dollars, and you know, whatever. And it just, you know, I, I don't shave that much. I do shave my arms and in another area, but I, I have a bat, another razor I use for that. That's for my face right there, the one you're looking at. Uh, so moving down, um, I have some more samples from, from, you know, when you get stuff from Grooming Lounge, I always send you little samples. This is from Lab Series, Billy Jealousy, whatever. Then I have my beard washes. Those are just backups. Um, so moving over here to the beard stuff, which I know a lot of you are going to have some interest in. So we'll get right to the beard um, area. So right here, you're going to have uh, a good beard. You're going to need a good beard brush. If you're, if you're trying to grow a beard, you're going to want to brush it a lot and train it. Um, so a good beard brush um, goes a long way. This one is from, I forget, Smooth Viking. You know, they're all about the same. But anyways, um, this is Beard Bastard, uh, the Woodsman Bomb with the oil. And then you have here the Early Riser. This one smells like a smashed lightning bug, like a real woodsy smell. <laughs> this one smells like pancakes. I don't use bomb and oil too much, guys, like maybe once a week. I'll, I'll do the combination of the two. I just don't like a real oily beard. So most of the time, um, most days of the week, five days of the week, set six days a week, I'm just using the conditioner from Whisker Sauce with Billy Jealousy Beard Oil. Um, this is the Devil's Delight. This stuff is the absolute best smelling beard oil you will ever have. And you have my honest 100% word on that. If you get this, I'm telling you right now, you're going to love it. It smells so good um, this smells really good too so this has like a lemony scent to begin with the whisker sauce when you add it with this which is a more lemony scent citrus cove it's good but it doesn't last that at that long maybe a few hours this all day all day long you're gonna have this scent up in your nose and it smells great and if you're a single guy or or you know you're going out on a first date. A, a girl's gonna pick up on that. They're they're gonna be like, "What the heck is this guy wearing?" You don't. Need, you have this kind of stuff on. You don't even need cologne because you know whatever's extra on your hands, you can rub on your tattoos or whatever. That's what I do, and it, it smells great. Over here, you have uh, Honest Amish Beard Oil and Balm. Um, another good smelling woodsy smelling scent. A little bit stronger than the Woodsman, and not as a smashed fire bug smell. Um, I actually like the sm smell of this a little bit better. Uh, and then you just have razor bump and burn in growth hair, uh, the grooming lounge, the shavier. That's a good smell and stuff, and it works really good. It stings like a bitch, but it does work. Uh, up here, before I forget, some good combs you're going to need. Definitely have to have a good comb, guys. You can't have them soft, crappy combs. I usually have these in an alcohol thing, but it, I broke it. So, anyways, um, these are nice, hard, stiff combs. Uh, this one somehow got warped. I think it's because I left it 
on the con <laughs> I left it on the containers like this and it got it got warped so be careful with that um this is a good comb to get this is the one I'll recommend this is a Kent saw cut 9t I also have a folding one like that so yeah um the, this is the beard stuff that I recommend um like I said that's basically the combination I use right there that this this right here um for the lips I always just put Vaseline that's the best thing for uh chap lips I think um and over here you have the deodorant that's molten and brown um black pepper this stuff is amazing it smells awesome and um you're not gonna find that stuff again it's only in the grooming lounge or um you know the amazon maybe you'll find it but it is pretty pricey i think this is like a 30 or it might be this might be 19 dollars. i'm not sure it's really expensive but it smells all day long it does not go away and it smells amazing like I said, you're single guy, whatever, females are going to pick up on that. You're not wearing Degree or Old Spice. This this stuff it smells like nothing else you'll ever smell in your life. The only other deodorant I would wear is uh, Dove. Dove is actually the only company I'll go by if it's not any of this. Um, the Dove, um, I forget what it's called, the Clinical. I really like that. So, Anyways, moving down here to the hair stuff. Um, Pete and Pedro is my number one go-to. I've just been usually just putting in the salt though because my hair is getting super long and I don't feel like doing it all the time. So I just kind of just spray some salt in there and call it a day and and uh, that's what I got going on. Anyway, um, and then I have the Blue Mon. He, he's got a bunch of different ones. I like this one and uh, his new one too I'm going to use but I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, but yeah, Pete and Pedro, there's the clay, there's the putty. Um, both are, have a different look and then the Pete and Pedro salt. Awesome stuff, really good. Did I mention the powder? I'm not sure if I did, but this is for them extra. This is a really good powder for them extra oversaturated areas. Um, <laughs> yeah, good powder, good stuff. Grooming Lounge. Uh, Tej Hanley, this guy, this is Aaron Marino's product. If you don't know who he is, he's the super duper famous YouTuber who came out with this um face facial cleansing stuff and let me tell you something like uh, it works it makes your face feel super clean smells good uh, i really love the a, uh, p or i'm sorry the am moisturizer because it has the spf 30 or 20 i'm sorry but that's all you need because it's actual spf like some of these other stuff is like 30 and all this other and it has other stuff in it that's not actually blocking the sun and actually making it worse for your skin this is the real deal um, it is a subscription, and I got it, uh, I think it's like $9 a month or so, yeah, $9, and they send you the eye cream, the, um, the super serum, the PM and the AM, and the scrub, or you can get just the two or whatever, there's different stages of it. But um, in any case, you put on the serum and then the eye bomb, and then in the morning you put on AM, or if it's mid-afternoon, whatever it is. Uh, if the sun's still out, you're using the AM. If it's nighttime, before you go to bed, you wash your face, you put on the PM and uh, eye bomb. Once in a while, I'll use Kiehl's Age Defender. This stuff will tighten up your face like no other. I mean, it really does work. Lab Series has a good serum, too. And then Mail and Groats Eye Bomb. I like this eye bomb, too. This is Bickle. I'm probably going to get this. This is a sample. It really stings, and you can feel it. Um, and that'll get rid of those those <laughs> there's dark circles under your eyes but I'll, I'll tell you guys and i've said this a lot of times before um the only way to get rid of that i mean my face kind of looks it's the light in here but um those dark circles under your eyes that you'll get i had them bad for a long time but i'm getting like a i always get this mark here in the summertime i don't know what it is but anyways uh, it's a beauty mark um, those dark circles under your eyes, they will not go away unless you're getting a good night's sleep. That's the only way to do it really. But this stuff does help because it adds and zinc and whatever else to that skin and, and, um, it creates, creates blood flow 
under the eye. All right. So when it when you when your skin it's dead in that area or whatever, it just creates and makes the blood vessels. I don't know what it does. I'm not a scientist, but it does work and it feels good. It makes your your confidence go up. And uh, it's just a, it's a good, it's good stuff. And you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to find any of this stuff in CVS, Walmart, Walgreens, or any of that. Um, this is daily face wash from TJ Hanley. This also goes with the kit and then it comes with a scrub. This is the scrub. You're only going to use this probably twice a week. And I have another scrub to use too. This is Billy Jealousy. I love Billy Jealousy stuff. Um. All his stuff smells really, really good. Um, plus, he has my name, and that's awesome because my name is awesome. But my name's actually Will, but people tend to call me Billy for some reason. Anyways, um, Malin and Groats Eye Bomb, awesome. That has the uh, rice bran in it. And this is some shampoo. This is a sample from Grooming Lounge Thickening Shampoo. Oh, and there it goes. And um, that's that. So the toothbrush that I use too, you're gonna want to, if you want to get a good toothbrush, I, you know, using a hand toothbrush, man, you're way out of date here. But um, this is a Dazzle Pro. Uh, it is expensive. It's over two hundred dollars for this thing, but you'll never use a better toothbrush. I mean, they have better ones like the Panasonic one that like, you know, does the whole washing of the bristles and it has the whole tank and all that crap. Whatever. This one has the you know, you take the head off here and you put it in this little cabinet, shut the door, the UV light turns on and you shut the flash off. As you can see, it UV light cleans the uh, bristles. But yeah, that's a good toothbrush. It's like 30,000 RPM or strokes per minute compared to like doing it by hand, which is like 400 or something. But yeah, that is a good toothbrush. And then you have also another good facial wash is the Jack Black. I use this usually like if I'm just rushing, coming home from work, going to the gym. I want to wash my face real quick. I'll just use this and then probably just throw some moisturizer on real quick just so I'm not all dry skinned. Da -da 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 -da. Cologne. This, you don't need a lot of this because when you use stuff like this, like these deodorants and this face stuff and this beard oil stuff and all this, you're going to smell amazing. You know what I mean? But a squirt of this doesn't help hurt at all. Um, this is La Costa. This is the white bottle. This is the absolute best summer scent, I think, that a guy can have in his cologne. Um, in his cologne, whatever I'm trying to say. What's going on here? Anyway, um, yeah, La Costa. This stuff smells amazing, works really good. It's an awesome, like, summery, very summery scent. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't wear it for, like, a wedding or anything like that. But I would probably wear, like, a Burberry. I'll do a cologne video one day. But um, this is my, ED, like, everyday cologne if I'm going to. I don't really wear cologne every day because all this stuff makes you smell amazing pretty much all day long. But... If I am going to put a cologne on, if I'm going out to dinner or something, that's what I'll use on a daily. Um, and like I said before, in every guy's bathroom, you got to have a mirror. One that you can pick up and hold. Or even one of those ones that, that you attach to the wall and they like spring out. But I just like this one because you can get you know real close to it. You can hold it, whatever you want to do with it. Uh, it's a good mirror. Alright, so moving on to the shower stuff. Um... This is what I like to use for like uh, the shampoo I use is the Pete and Pedro. It's upside down now because I don't know if this rack intended to put those holes in there like that, but that's what I use it for. So it works. Um, Pete and Pedro, this is the peppermint um, tea tree. Oh, did I say oil? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it works really good. It makes your hair all tingly. That's the conditioner. Um, there's more beard wash from Bluebeards. That washes the skin under the beard really well. I don't use, I don't wash my beard too much. Um, maybe every other day, because you don't want to strip them natural oils out and all that stuff. Now, if I, when I'm at work, I work on big, nasty, dirty trucks. 
Uh, and you know, I'm always working anyway, but like, so, but at work I get extra nasty. So I do have to wash my beard because I'll, like, they'll be, it'll just be gross looking and it gets real dried out from the dust and sand and dirt. So anyways, um, uh, body wash, molten and brown. This is the same as the deodorant smelling and it's a little bit goes a long way. I've had this bottle over a month. All right. A little tiny bit goes a long way with this stuff. It smells absolutely amazing. And uh, it, it works. It cleans real good. And then this is another stuff by Molten and Brown. Another product by them. This is just a little bit of a different smell. Uh, and this is just more of a summery scent that I bought. Like a summer, like a more of like a beachy smell. Which I, I've grown to like a lot too. Smells good. Lasts all day. Don't need a lot of it. This stuff is expensive. It's like 35 bucks for this. All right. But you, like I said, it lasts a long time. You don't need a lot of it. And that's the key. This is my in-shower facial wash for when I'm washing my face in the shower. That's the Tej Hanley. And then twice a week, I'll use exfoliating the scrub, which really makes your face look, feel so clean. And then you're going to go and use the serum and then the eye balm and then the moisturizer. I know it sounds like a lot, but when you get a routine, you start going to sleep early, you start waking up a little earlier, you're going to feel better, you're going to feel more confident. I don't know. That's how I roll, guys. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but uh, it, it's life. This is like life changing stuff. If you're trying to change your life around and, and um, do things healthier and better and take care of your body and yourself and your face and your skin and all that stuff, I know it's probably a little bit uh, nerdy for a lot of guys but it does work it does make you feel better so to each is their own another dollar shave club razor this is um more stuff uh detox bar wonder bar and uh in case i have a guest i have dove this is the only other stuff i'll use this is for a lady guest or just a lady guest but uh anyway there's that <clears throat> and then once in a while i'll use head and shoulders uh, the triple action for dandruff. Everybody gets dandruff. I don't care who you are. Um, I'll, I'll use it maybe like twice a month, that stuff. But I never realized how hard it was to actually do a video in the mirror. Like, do I look at the camera like this? Or do I look at the camera like this? I, it's hard to do. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much this video in a wrap. Like I said, a lot of this stuff you're not going to find at CVS. You're not going to find at Walgreens or Walmart. This is all from the grooming lounge um, and and like a couple things I got at, um, where is it, Amazon. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if, if you're looking up to, to spice up your, your beard, you know, looking for beard stuff, looking for stuff to wash your face and clean your body and smell like a little bit different. Like every guy, you know, most guys don't know about this stuff. Let's be honest. Like I talk to a lot of guy friends that I work with, um, guys that... Uh, my best friend, he's like, has no idea. He's like, I'm like, what do you wash your beard with? He's like, I just use Ashley's, Ashley's his wife. He's like, I just use Ashley's shampoo. I'm like, what? Dude, you're using your girlfriend's shampoo? I mean, he doesn't give a shit. He's married, whatever. But like, a lot of guys don't know about this stuff. And it, it does exist. There's a place for you guys to go shopping for your for your uh, your men facial care and, and hair care and nut sack powder. <laughs> I had to make a joke in there somewhere. Come on, you guys know me. Anyways, but that's uh, that's really it. I mean, this is um, if you if you're trying to look for stuff like this, that's this is the ticket. And I hope that helps some of you guys out. Some of you guys are probably like, yeah, right. I'm just gonna keep using my freaking Old Spice and my Gillette shaving cream, and I'm good to go. That's on you. Whatever. We don't judge at the hard city. I'm just telling you guys. That this stuff is absolutely life-changing. It makes you feel better, more confident. And that's it. That's all I got. Vamos! See you guys later. Peace.